Well, the caption says it all. Penn State embarrassed Michigan last year, 42 to 13 at Beaver Stadium. It was payback for the 49 to 10 defeat in Ann Arbor from 2016. And the Wolverines, while on their self-proclaimed revenge tour, they held serve today. To the big house we go. Number 14, Penn State at number five, Michigan. Let's see how Trace McSorley's knee holds up. He had a brace on it today. First try for Michigan, kept right here by a one-yard touchdown by quarterback Shea Patterson, who fakes out the entire Penn State defense into the end zone as Michigan goes up 7 nothing. Now second quarter, Michigan lines up for a long field goal. Oh, hey, it's Chris Weber, finally back in Michigan. And it's blocked by Penn State, scooped up eventually by Garrett Taylor, who's going to eventually take it back for a touchdown. But wait, there's Hankies on the field. A penalty brings the touchdown back, but Penn State still gets the ball. However, on the very next possession, Penn State fumbles, recovered by Michigan's Chase Winovich, as Penn State cannot capitalize or really just move the ball at all. Later in the second, Patterson to Donovan Peoples-Jones, a tiptoe touchdown as Penn State goes down 14-0 at the half. Second half, Michigan picks right back up. Patterson to tight end Zach Gentry for the seven-yard score, and Michigan is up 21-0, fourth quarter, and this was the story of the game. Penn State's offense sputtering. Trace McSorley shaking up on the scramble. Only 186 yards of total offense. The offense could not score until all the backups were in at the end of the game. McSorley would leave the game. Penn State gets whooped 42-7 in its return to Michigan today. With more on that, we send it out to our Peter Terpstra in Ann Arbor. The last time Penn State tripped to this stadium, a 39-point loss. Now this time, 42-7. Seems that the big house might be a little too big for Penn State, especially that Michigan defense that just dominated Penn State all night. In no way would I have expected this to be the outcome that we had. We put in a you know, good long week of work. We just weren't able to get it done. And we, we didn't play up to our standards. The Penn State offense only rushed for 68 total yards. Trace McSorley had his right knee braced up, but he couldn't get anywhere either way. Negative six yards after running for his life all night. I don't know if it necessarily was as much about Trace's knee um, as it was about how good they are on defense. Michigan finished with five sacks, six tackles for a loss and a stone wall still standing at the line of scrimmage. What do you have to do against like Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State to get over the hump to beat those guys? Play better. What else do you guys want me to say? I mean, we got outplayed in all those games. We get this game especially. This season started out with national championship hopes, maybe another Big Ten title, but here we are with three losses on the season to probably those three big dogs you wanted to beat at the beginning of the year. Next up, number four, Wisconsin. Reporting from Ann Arbor, Michigan, Peter Terpstra for Nittany Nation.